The Gershwin's Porgy and Bess is set uh, in 1935 uh, in South Carolina um, on the Sea Islands of uh, what we would call um, the Sea Islands of, of South Carolina. And uh, these are the Gullah people who are the descendants of uh, enslaved Africans. There's everything from a community to love, a love triangle, a little bit of fighting. Um, it's just a day in a life, a little moment in time of the residents of Catfish Row. Right now, um, we're here in Tempe, Arizona, and um, Camp Broadway is also here uh, this week, and uh, they are having their students come over, and they're, uh, we're going to be having a lunch with them and interacting with them, and they get to see the show, and um, we get to see them perform as well, and so it's just kind of like just like a crossing of, you know, generations, and, uh, you know, when you know, you teach. And that also goes in reverse for us, you know, they're teaching us something as well. Hemp Broadway is um, a program that's been around for almost 20 years now, um, based out of New York City, and it is a program that uh, exposes children to the world of Broadway. We were excited um, in New York to hear that it was going to be Porgy and Bess because um, a lot of times it's, it's, a, it's a very modern show and the kids all know those shows, which is great but it's great for them to learn where, where those things came from. And so the fact that they get to learn about the, the music of the Gershwins, they get to uh, learn about shows that don't take place in the year 2015, you know, that uh, is, a, is a historical lesson as well. It really helps us with the educational aspect of theater. The movement, the choreography that is incorporated in the show um, are real dances, social dances and praise dances that were done uh, by these people. The role that dance plays is a, is a huge one. Uh, we are an, an, another interpretation, um, just as you would hear the music and the uh, dialogue that's being done, dances uh, showing the love, the community, uh, the grief, um, the celebration. I was getting taught choreography from one part of the show by Nicole. I liked how I actually got to learn from a Broadway short star that's going to be in the show tonight that I'm going to see. So that's pretty cool. She was wonderful. Yeah, enthusiastic. Um, and, I, and I love teaching you know, the movement to um, adults and children uh, as well, especially to when they come and see the show and they're like, oh, I learned that. And uh, she was wonderful, you know, just ready to learn and soak it up. We really do want to say that this is a, these are life skills that you'll use. So you may have to talk in front of a group of 500 people, you know, with a business degree. You may have to, if you want to be a teacher, you you got to be in front of people and you have to learn how to interact with them. And those theatrical skills that we teach are applicable to almost any avenue that you choose in life. So it's I think it's really great to see them that confidence in kids. You know, of, it's scary to be in front of a group of people, especially a full sold out, you know, performance. Granted it's mostly their parents who will love them anyway, but you know, it teaches them to, you know, be responsible and, and, and own that confidence. So it's great to see.